What's going on everyone, in this video I have some crazy SAT March news because the SAT March is literally just a couple of days away and all you guys might be either super stressed, cramped studying or wondering what's going to be on the exam. So first things first, like I said, the SAT March is in a couple of days and a lot of students are probably like really stressed about what's about to happen, you know, everything that revolves around taking their first SAT since the March SAT is the first SAT for a lot of people, but at the same time, even if you're taking this SAT for like a second time or even third time, if you took like the November, December SATs from last year, this will still be relevant to you. So again guys, SAT March has been digital for a lot of students, right? For a lot of international students, the SAT is a digital um, form and they, they already took it. Actually, it was on March 1st, but for March 11th, it's really a lot of US students and they're taking the, you know, standard paper-based exam. But what this really means is that there's going to be an effect on the curve, right? The population of SAT, like regular test, test takers versus digital SAT test takers is now different, right? So you can't, and the problems are different, the form, the, like the, the format is different. So the same curve isn't going to be applied to both SATs equally, right? Each one's going to have its own different curve. And the thing is, now there's less people taking the standard SAT, and there's probably more people taking the international SAT. I might be wrong on that, uh, by international, I meant digital. I might be wrong on that, I don't know the exact numbers, but I know obviously the population isn't the same because the digital SAT is here now, and a lot of students already took it on March 1st. So the question really is, like how will this affect the curve? Like, like will the curve be nicer now? Will it be like meaner? Like if you get one problem wrong, will you get like 100 points off? Or if you get 10 problems wrong, will you only get 50 points off? Right, that's like one of the biggest questions that uh, is out there in the ST community right now. And my personal answer, like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm obviously not affiliated with college, college board, but college board, if you're seeing this, you know, a sponsor, you never know. But the idea is that with the a smaller population taking the exam, like obviously the scores are more variable. Uh, the effect, like there's less population, right? So now things are more sensitive, right? But the idea is, since there's still a lot of students taking the SAT in the U.S., right, and the average score is like about like 1,100, you're still gonna expect an average score, and nothing's gonna change because for the people taking the regular SAT, they've probably they've probably been taking the regular SAT for their whole life, right? So that is really not gonna change. That the curve is gonna be the same that you can usually expect on the March SAT. And I know you guys might be like, well, so what is like the curve of the March SAT? Personally, March SAT was my best SAT I've ever taken. I got like a 1530 on it, 790 math, 740 reading, but eventually I took SAT again and I was able to super score for a much higher score, right? Oh, a little bit higher score, but I got an 800 math the second time. So the idea is that, um, So personally, I would like to believe that the March SAT is one of the easier SATs, and I've gotten like a lot of uh, feedback on like past March SATs. People have always said that yeah, it wasn't that bad. Like it was actually very doable. Like, the math wasn't that hard. The reading wasn't that hard. Oh my God, my score is way higher than I expected. It's always positive feedback for the most part. Yes, of course, there's some negative feedback. Some people were like, oh my God, I, I didn't do well. I didn't study enough. And if you didn't study enough, that's obviously on you. But for students who have studied enough, who have probably checked out both my ST math course and my ST reading course at a discount, link in the description below, they've probably seen that, well, I studied all I possibly could because I got one problem wrong, I still got 50 points off, that's just like a harsh curve. And at that point, there's really not much you can do about it, but most of the time, the March SAT is more of a forgiving curve, which means that you're not gonna have to experience you know, one problem wrong, 30, 40 points off. Another thing you can expect on the March SAT, guys, 2023. Now, since new digital SAT is coming up, new fresh problems are being made. And obviously, fresh problems are always being made by College Board. But now, even more problems are being made because they have to adjust problems to the digital SAT. Yes, it's the same problems, but like the, the number of problems is different, like how problems are worded might be just a little bit different. But you can also expect that on the standard SAT, right? These are problems that you might not have seen before or might not have seen a version like before. But the tips, trips, tricks, and patterns are all the same for like every single SAT problem. So it really doesn't matter what the problem is, all right? It doesn't matter whether like the word is a little different, what they're asking for is different, how they ask the question. Like I've noticed on digital SAT, sometimes the ways that they're asking the question is a little bit different. That stuff really doesn't matter anymore because uh, once you know all the patterns and tricks, and I've even done the math digital SAT myself, like first time, super quick, right here. Once you know the patterns, it applies widespread. Okay, nothing changes. So just make sure you study the patterns, and by doing so, you'll be able to help yourself and prove your score a lot. 
And that's really all the good news for ST March. Uh, again, less population taking it, but the curve should be about the same. What is gonna be exactly on it, I'll talk about in my next video. But thank you all for watching. Be sure to check my ST crash course, it'll help you a ton. Peace.